Uh huh. Oh, he's setting up. <laughs> All right. So we are going to bring in a 400 pound cast iron tub. Watch the fun. are positioned to be under the feet of the cast iron tub against the wall there and they just help to spread the load out there's a good amount of weight on these two little feet and I'm going in so here, I think, aren't I? they don't have to do it I just like to do it and we screw them down on, after we locate right them gonna maneuver the tub back and forth uh, turning it this way and that way to get it within two inches of the sidewall then we will tip it forward and the front corner of the side of the tub we want it to go in between the sidewall for the shower and the sink cabinet there's a space there that the corner can go into because when you tip that uh, tub over it's going to be longer because of the side walls and if we get it in there then we can uh, bring it down and tuck it back to the back wall but i think it, so now if someone holds that if you hold that kind of lower it down mm -hmm. to see that now you you want to have a you want to do this because you don't have much force to stop it from coming yeah down. what it needs it needs to be reversed is what it needs don't go through again now you've got braking power. Mm -hmm. well, hang on a second here. Uh, it's also pulling this separator block. Well, I think too. You might have to get over here. Be over here. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then get ready to run. Yeah. Don't put your feet under anything. Or hands. Get your hands. Just. Yeah. It's gonna go. <laughs> you know what? To tell you the truth, hey. Hang on a sec. Let's get another two by four and put it down there in case it does come crashing down. Um, put it where? Under the. Well, it, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> if to get it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I am not in a position to do anything. Now you need to be straight on here like this. And look at look at look. You need to take up the slack too. Don't you have no slack. You have. You, you have to take it up. Here, let go. Um, there, and this has to go up. Give me some slack. There. This some bitch are gone. Watch the front right corner of the tub next to the hand, and you'll see what I'm talking about for space. Now it's going to hit your plumbing. No. Yeah, it will. I'm telling you, it's it behind the wall. Well, it just barely missed it. Mm -hmm. So now we need to lift this up. So now, do we have a two by four we can lever that up with? Yeah. But uh, we have to take it apart. Wait, where's the drill? We'll have to get another drill. Another drill. Uh, here, you can hold this real tight. No, no, it's good. Look at that might scratch it. Don't stop the scratch. Don't even touch it.
Yeah, that's gonna wipe your plumbing out, you know. Here. Two pry bars. But it's going to wipe out that plumbing. Well, uh, so take the. Uh, if he's got another one, then put it in here and pry it away. Yeah, we got to protect that plumbing. Well, it'll be almost the last thing you ever have to do. I have to pry this back. But I can't. I'll try to keep this from wiping out your plumbing, but it looks like it's going to. I never had so much problem with this. Push back. Beyond that, 
we gotta get beyond that two by four. If it comes down there, we're gonna have a fight <laughs> to get it in the corner. There. Okay. Now, Here, can you this. can you pry that back corner, Mitch? Watch it. That should just about drop in. Now I'll get all the wood out of there because this going will just go now. Holes in the wrong place. <laughs> you dumbass. Oh my god. Take it out. Here, let me kick it in. Well, the thing is, it'll don't pry that. It, it'll pry that. It. Oh, you can unstrap oh, it. You can come it out. Oh, yeah, the strap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can go through the basement. For mm -hmm. Except for that knot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cut that and throw it away. It served as poor bass. No. You can undo that no, knot. Just get Here, yeah, just get something to pry with. Get my, my blue bar. Well, at this point, you can you're not going to untie that. Well, you can untie that with a pair yeah, of you can two pairs it. of pliers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, at this point, I don't want to chance any, uh, pop out on force. No. Alright. Jeepers. You, you go down and cut a hole, Jeff, and I'll take it. I'll, un I'll untie it off. Now it'd be nice to know if those metal plates are in the right spot. Okay, let's see if we can spot those metal plates. to drill a hole here yeah. and then drill a big hole up with a hosazol or yeah. holes off. Yeah. Well, it just has to be big enough to come in. It's half an inch in 24 inches, Jeff. That's Perfect. good. Yeah, quarter inch per foot. That's, Perfect. That's what they like. Perfect. Perfect. So drill a hole down here mm -hmm. and then you And can, then you know where it is. And then where's that other drain at? Well, the, the front, <laughs> there's a massive hole under there. It's just that right next to This thing is sloped in the front. And now the hole's not in the right place. The hole's there. The hole, yeah, the, the hole we just put in it is way up front. Jeff did not read the rough-in instructions for this tub. Don't ask. Oh, it's, uh, Stupid. Well, there's this thing you do, it's called measuring. <laughs> That's what I do. I do that all the time. I, when I'm building you, something. You don't measure anything. There's no measuring in carpentry. Measuring. Measuring in carpet. Yeah, Mitch is the original. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> go ahead. This is a comfortable tub. It didn't, though. 
What's this? Was this live? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. What was it? touched both ends. Well, remember, the sink used to be over here. Oh. And the turlet used to be right under here. Well, I'm touching the black to the ground, so it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it all got cleaned out. But yeah, anyway. So. You think it is a comfortable tub? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice tub. Deliver <laughs> I don't want anything to do with them. But if I've told customers that you can get a tub, but it's not going to be a cast iron tub, I won't do it. You'll have to get, you'll have to get somebody else to lay it, because I'm not putting it in. I, I don't have it. My back ain't got it. Oh, this will be the last one I ever do. Yeah, that's for sure. Unless I yeah, for here, it. you should have just got one of the thin wall like you took out. Why didn't you just get one of those? He's going for big bucks. Here. I'm going for bucks. They don't and know the cast, Yeah, they do. People know the difference between big bucks. The people that are buying these houses are paying big bucks for. Yeah, see, food. I have to have the Good nicer house. It's got to be that much better than the next house. It'll make a good video. Yeah, the cast iron tub and all the swearing. Yeah, well, I just, you know, where, wherever there's swearing, I put in the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the window. Yeah. You got the window ordered? Yeah, it's four weeks. You have the breath opening size? Yep. With, what is it? Uh, 33 by 21. I'm going to open this up a bit. He's going to get bigger. Why, bigger. Why, did, why did you do that? Because I'm putting in a better window. Well, I mean, now you're going to have to put a header in and everything. No, no. No, no it's exactly it's the opening. It's right between there. two studs. Okay. Yeah, it's exactly. Well, the, I'm not it's from, it's from here to here. Okay, yeah. yeah. But changing the size of that window, the hard part is the doing, side, doing the siding and stuff, too. No, I think you just trim up the siding, put a. Don't even need a flashing on the top. And then put the crumb. Get up, in. get out of your butt, and get to work. Yeah, get up. Well, I'm just enjoying my expensive tub and shower. Yeah, well, I'll enjoy it for a little while longer, mm -hmm. like about two seconds, and so, then, I, then I'm leaving. Okay, your two seconds are up. What are you gonna do? Um, you gonna uh, start, start the plumbing, and maybe Dave start doing this. I gotta go, go home and bore the hole. I gotta go home and watch TV. No, I'm gonna go meet the puppy. See the pup. That's what clean it is. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get a piece of half inch behind here, Jeff. No, you don't want to go behind there. Just go right down to it. We go right on top. Yeah. Then you fill it. I would even maybe leave a little bit of a gap. It doesn't have to be really on it. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to get uh, mortar just splooged in and behind there for that one. I would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like a quarter of an inch? Yeah. And then and this one here, it goes right down to the top of it. This one just goes to the top. Never go behind the tub. Yeah. No. That's a boo-boo. Well, never go over. Or no, never go never over go, the lid. Never go over the lid. All right. Okay, so the tub's in. We are very happy about that. So I need to make a larger hole here to get a drain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole dead to center, and then I'm going to come up from underneath with a uh, four-inch hole saw. And what that will do is uh, uh, it'll cut me a large enough hole to be able to get the plumbing under there and be able to access anything that I need. It'll give me work room and uh, that'll be it. Hopefully I didn't run into a joist or something. You know, it always seems to work that way. So stay tuned. Hopefully, I can hit that. Okay, so you oh, see, shit. there's the two holes right yes. there. And there is yeah, the. Yeah, you gotta yank the duct. dryer vent down. Yeah. Is that but, a dryer vent? Yeah, a dryer vent. Uh -huh. and so, you know, it's up high, so it won't be in any, any interference. I'm gonna drill the hole for the drain with a four inch hole saw. And it's a little bit of a bugger. The hole saw keeps uh, biting and it actually smacked me in the jaw a pretty good one but uh, yeah I keep uh, 
drilling away at it. And it's one of those positions where you have to keep upward pressure all the time, so it's very straining on your arms. The other thing that was annoying is that uh, there's no um, 3M N95 masks available. All you can get are these stupid little surgical masks, and they actually make the dust problem worse because the dust falls behind the mask, and it makes it easier for you to breathe in dust that you're trying to avoid. So I just kind of didn't even bother using a mask here. So there I'm up to the hardy backer, and uh, Dave is pushing it through. And now I am going to hit it with my multi-tool. Let's get the last little bit here. I'm going to use my multi-tool. Dave was up uh, fastening the Duroc boards using inch and five eighths hardy back screws. So we're just speeding it up. He's doing an eight inch pattern and you can hear me drilling the drain hole underneath. Okay, we are finished with mortaring in the walls around the tub. And this is what the tub currently looks like. I'm putting in 3x6 subway tiles. That square in the center is where a soap dish goes. I've got red guard on all the walls and everything is coming together very nicely. This will be in another video. Thanks for watching my videos. I hope you're enjoying them and maybe learning how to do some of these projects on your own. We'll see you on the next video.